Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to take a Bible and turn with me over to the book of 1 John. Today we'll be in 1 John chapter 2, and we'll look at verse 16 and verse number 17. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, praise the Lord. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee. Spending some quality time with God and his precious word. Well, friend, the Bible says over here in 1 John chapter number 2, verse 16 and verse 17, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world panteth away. And the lust thereof, he that doth the will of the Father, abideth forever. Friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled An Age of Instant Gratification. You know, we live in an age of instant gratification. None of us are immune. We want instant answers to our prayers. We want instant works by God. We want instant tangible physical power from God. We don't want to wait on God to do things in his time. We try to do it in our time. We don't want to uh, perspire to, uh, to get what we want. We don't want to work. We live uh, and want access, or excess rather. We live and want to be pampered. We want a parent to look out for our every need. But friend, it's time that we grow up. Listen, being grown up means that we hold off on what we want. Being grown up means that we don't get what we want uh, when we want it. And uh, we just go on and work anyway. Being grown up means that we take the time to sacrifice. Teaching a child to sacrifice is one of the greatest lessons that any parent can teach because there's no progress in a person's life without the sacrifice. My friend, no person, no society, no church, no organization or social entity can endure without sacrifice. Yes, we live in an instant uh, age of gratification. We want what we want and we want it right now. And I believe that's why we see so much unruliness and turmoil going on in our land today. It's no wonder that uh, God led John to write all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life is not of God, but is of the world. The world passes away, but he that doeth the will of God will abide forever. Friend, we may think that everything comes to us instantly, but it doesn't. We need to sacrifice and let things happen in our lives in God's timing, not our time. Think about these things. And if there's some things in your life that you need to get in order, now's a good time to do just that. Pray with me. Father, thank you for reminding us that while we may think that everything comes instantly, that it doesn't, that we need to sacrifice and help us to do so. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and uh, let people see that you're making a difference in your world. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.